This is the future. The future. Hi and welcome guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Crypt Zone and we are playing Minecraft episode 14 and I just want to show you I am running brand new shaders and a new resource pack. So today's graphics is complimentary for Misa. I'm using the Misa um, resource pack. And um, for the shaders, we are going with complimentary shaders. So it's not the same graphics that I had last time. It's actually a bit more um, PC friendly and doesn't eat so much resources and uh, so on. So in today's video, we're going to see what I've been up to the last few days. Um, actually most of the builds you're going to see now I did yesterday, uh, I was off yesterday completely, so I spent about 10 hours in this game. So we're going to go to, ah, this is wrong, it's not the cave house, it could have been the cave house, but after actually um, completing the site, it has changed to the stony market. So um, I did a bit of exploring around my area, and the closest village to me is extremely far and I thought well I need something to um, or some place to buy some stuff so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or Join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. And here we are, the stony market. Remember in the previous video I brought you guys here to say that this is going to be the next build site? Well, let me take you on a tour of what I've done. You have your little reception here that says welcome to the stony market. Then as you go up, your first shop that you're going to find is fruits and vegetables and cakes. So here you can go and you can buy all kinds of veggies and fruit. Our next shop in the line is our fresh meat and fish. We've got some rabbit, chicken, lamb, pork and beef. Also inside you will find some extra fish. Yes, you can even eat Nemo in my shop if you want to. The next shop is a flower shop. Because I mean, what is a marketplace if there's no flower shop? You have to buy your girlfriend or your wife something if you're coming out to the pub and you need to say sorry. And uh, that's another thing that we definitely do have in our marketplace. Our next shop, oh, as you can see, I've also added some banners, get some color going. And our next place is a bookshop. Here you can find magical books, mysterious books, and all other kinds of books. Going down a bit before we go up again. <laughs> this is our oddity shop. Here you can buy all kinds of stuff. There's watches, uh, spy glasses, fireworks, shears, tools, and equipment. You can even buy some CDs or records, CDs, horse saddles, compasses, 
tools. So this is like your your everyday go-to shop for all your interesting goodies that you want to buy. Moving up, we have our potions shop. So for any adventurer, this is a must-go-to place where you can get all your kinds of potions that will heal your illnesses or cause your enemies blindness and pain and suffering. Uh, yes, potion shop. The biggest place you will definitely want to visit is Dungeons Pub and Grill. Welcome to the dungeon. Here you've got some tables where you can sit and have something to eat. Uh, a nice fireplace to make it nice and warm. You can sit there and drink. Look at all my nice um, wine there at the back. We've got a kitchen, fully serviced. That also gives you stews. We've got all different kinds of stews, some potatoes, some roast chicken on the menu for today. And uh, if you are tired, you can rent one of the rooms and take a nap. The last shop in our whole tour is our armor shop. Here you can find armory, weapons, armors for your horse, and a whole smithy story anyway. We've got tridents, we've got swords, axes, and so on. This will take you to the abandoned mine. It's kind of a, a joyride that I decided to bring in. Oh, spider. Um, I wanted to bring in like a roller coaster fun ride as part of the attraction for the market and well this is it i actually discovered an abandoned mine while i was busy with the exploring i thought it was just a cave and when i went into the cave i found an entire abandoned mine and i used some of the old track systems and i built you a nice And here we are. This cavern is vast and deep. It has two different layers, or two different sections. So I wanted to start the joyride actually from here, but then I saw mm -mm, it's not going to work. This is way, way down. So I decided to build some steps that you can go down with until you reach the platform where you will take the actual ride. So yes, if you want to come and visit the abandoned mine, you have to come very fit because you're going to walk quite a long way and you're going to climb some stairs like you've never believed it. Not even a stairs master is going to prepare you for the steps. I have no idea how many steps I built, but I can tell you it is a lot. So this is like a whole tourist attraction. The first thing that you can do when you are here is walk through this garden. Now this is where you buy your ticket for the train ride. Funny enough, or oh, this is like a welcoming place to say okay this is where you board the train. But we've got this very nice cavern garden um, that you can actually walk through and explore. And I did try to mark out the places where it's dangerous not to go. And I lighted up most of the pathways. But otherwise you are free to roam here. And explore this garden as far as you want. Just be careful. You're going to walk here at your own risk.
Okay, as you guys can see, there's two railway lines. One is going down and one is coming up. Okay, are you ready? Hang on to the seats, boys. Welcome to the abandoned mine. Please note that you are free to go and explore wherever you want, as long as it's within this wall of light. Because on the outside of the wall, there's zombies, monsters and ghouls. If you want to go to the toilet, please feel free to use the bathrooms. Yes, for the men, we've got a place where you can pee pee. <laughs> and unfortunately for the girls, I still haven't figured out to build a nice toilet in the small space, but uh, I'll get there, don't worry. And if you're thirsty, you can order your drinks here. And if you're hungry, you can also order something from the kitchen. And of course, the guy at the back of the counter can take your order, yes sir, and then go to the kitchen and say, Hey, we want some food. And then the person can bring the food out to you from here. So, if you are tired and you want to take a quick nap before you go back up, there is a nap room. Yes, uh, I don't think that people would like to sleep overnight here because it's just a joyride. You can go back upstairs and go to wherever you want to go. But if you want to take like an afternoon nap, after you had a nice lunch, you can do that too. Okay, so this mine is very big. These are the support beams that are used to support the platforms on top where the railway track is running. This was here already, it's part of the mine. Then this wall of light is your safety barrier. On the other side of this wall there's ghouls, monsters, zombies, skeletons and all kinds of stuff that will kill you. So for your own safety stay inside the barrier. I did open up some windows for you so if you really want to see what's happening on the other side of the wall, you can take a look. Also. I would not advise you to go and explore the mines by yourself since there are still spiders and monsters on the outside of this wall. And the mines don't go very far, there's some of them that goes uh, quite a distance in but then goes and stops at a dead end. So I did find a lot of the old tracks still there and I just basically incorporated my tracks onto the old system, giving it a nicer... Uh, joyride effect <laughs> if you can put it like that um, yeah I still have to work on my way back but this was the quickest way that I could get to get back to this track and as you can see it is quite hazardous there's still some lava pits open so please be careful then once you're done you've seen what you want to see you had your drink you had your, your bathroom break you can take the secondary line and um, go back out onto the top let me just get my minecart here because I forgot my minecart upstairs. Okay, let's go. This is going to be a more interesting ride than it was on the first one. Enjoy.
that's it thank you very much for joining us on this ride i hope you enjoyed the experience and yes guys for the older ones who are here watching i got my whole idea from the indiana jones temple of doom that scene where they are riding in the minecarts saving the children this is what gave me the idea of doing a roller coaster ride in the mine so yeah <laughs> old old um, movies and stuff having an effect on my imagination and like i said this is a lot of steps i think by the time you're up here i should buy a, probably get another stall here where you can buy some cool drink anyway i'm just going to take a walk back to the stony market and then uh, remember guys if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and uh, remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my next upload um, which will be probably somewhere later this week since I'm working day shift again tomorrow and the day after so there won't be any building or playing or editing coming from then and um, I also have to find a new place to build um, the only other closest beacon that I've placed is inside a mountain kind of place and I still don't have any idea of what I'm gonna build there or how it's gonna look at the end of the day but I'm definitely gonna see if I can do something there and I'll bring a video out as soon as I can but it probably won't be this week maybe only next week anyway guys whatever you're doing keep it safe until next time cheers <laughs>